Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis Media. Once again, welcome back to another movie review, a.k.a. Okay, after I saw this time, I saw two films. Um, I saw The Darkest Hour, which I'm reviewing right now, and I saw Phantom Thread. I was going to see Winchester, but since Oscar season is like in a month, I decided to see the last two Oscar bait movies, and um, given the fact that Winchester is not, not a whole lot of people are liking it, I'm uh, not sure if I'm still going to see that. I don't think I am, but, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, but anyways, let's get into it. So, Darkest Tower, during the early days of World War II, with the fall of France imminent, imminent, uh, uh, Britain faces its darkest hour, as the threat of invasion, uh, looms as the seemingly unstoppable Nazi forces advance, and with the Allied army, uh, cornered on, uh, the beaches of Dunkirk, so, this, I'm not sure if this, so, yeah, guys, it's kind of, I was going to say it's not really related to the Christopher Nolan film Dunkirk, but since, but, uh, yeah, the story's kind of sounding like a bit like Dunkirk, but Dunkirk could happen. Dunkirk, uh, you don't see the beaches of Dunkirk or anything like that, but uh, anyways, the fate of Western uh, Europe hangs on the leadership of the newly appointed British Prime Minister Winston Churchill by Academy Award nominee Gary Oldman. Uh, while uh, maneuvering uh, his political rivals, he must confront the ultimate choice, uh, negotiate with Hitler and save the British people at a terrible cost, or rally the nation and fight on against incredible odds. So this film is directed by Joe Wright. Darkest Hour is the is an inspirational story of four weeks in 1940, during which Churchill's courage to uh, let to uh, lead changed the course of world history. And I could say, uh, was this a good movie? Of course it was. Um, you were probably expecting me to say this is a good movie because almost every movie that I talk about is good. I mean, but. Uh, so, anyways, uh, Joe Wright, um, I might have watched some other movies of his, uh, let me check what he's directed, um, he, uh, uh, oh, oh, he directed Pan, yeah, that movie was terrible, but, uh, uh, here he directed uh, Pride and Prejudice, which I never saw. Uh, but luckily, Darkest Hour uh, fixed up his career. It made his career better. I mean, Pan was a terrible movie, but uh, this film certainly a lot better. But anyways, uh, Gary Oldman himself does a really good job, and he is really worthy of the Best Actor nomination. And uh, the way... It's basically, once again, a big uh, dialogue-heavy movie, and uh, I like the last 20 minutes. Um, there's this one scene, spoiler alert, where the last 20 minutes where uh, Gary Oldman is talking to like a bunch of people on the train, and everybody knows him, and he greets everyone. That that was real. That was... I was really surprised by that. I really enjoyed that scene, as well as... From beginning to end, it certainly felt like a really heavy uh, dialogue, as well as um, some very intense elements here and there. Like, uh, And uh, the ending was really satisfying, which I'm not going to spoil for any of you guys um, that uh, want to check this movie out. And it certainly is worthy. I wouldn't say it should win Best Picture, which I don't really think it will, but uh, for the most part, um, this was an enjoyable film. Um, it's not a perfect movie. Sometimes the pacing for me is a bit uh, slow, but it really picks up afterwards. Um, that's what, but uh, that's the best part I can describe it, but overall, Darkest Hour is an enjoyable film, and uh, it's really, it really um, honors the true story that it's based on. Um, I'm gonna True story or true events, I, I, I don't know. But I'm going to give Darkest Hour a 4 out of 5. Definitely worth checking out. Um, so, 
yeah, just one more Oscar bait movie and uh, to talk about, then, uh, yeah, um, I will have seen every single Oscar bait movie of <laughs> 2017, just like 2016. I, I know, I didn't think I would do, I did not think I would see every single Oscar bait movie, but I did. But anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.